Hello and welcome to another episode of the CEO Peak. And today I have a special honor to host here Kurt Abramson. Hi, Kurt. Hello, how are you? Kurt is the CEO of Share This and he's a former a global sales director in Google. And he was responsible for two billion US dollars in sales. And I'll, I love you to watch his uh, TED talk, TEDx Times Square. I just uh, watched it this morning just to prepare myself to interview you, Code. It was an amazing talk. So thank you so much for joining us today. I'm glad to have you on the show today. Of course. Thank you for uh, inviting me on. I moved from Google uh, to a small company called socialmedia.com. Uh, social media networks and then I came to share this and so I left Google um, for an opportunity to be CEO of a venture back company uh, living out in California that's an opportunity that um, is unique generally to this environment to work for a company that has those kind of financial advisors uh, so my first lesson is just taking a CEO job doesn't make you successful in and of itself uh, each company has a has its own different set of circumstances and market challenges and with socialmedia.com it just didn't work out in, in a way that we were able to scale it uh, I then came to share this which of course is an amazing success it has a huge platform uh, it reaches you know 60% of the US internet population and we we are uh, we do what we call share intelligence we're able to gather all this data about individual sharing and clicking on content and develop insights for brands and publishers. And that company has been um, much more successful as a platform and is doing quite well right now overall. We're on actually three million plus domains around the world. So we see the content that's shared into mo social media channels. We see the content that people click on to come back to publishers. Uh, and we're able to collect all of this data set and make it available in different ways. Uh, and, and as part of that, of course, we provide free tools to publishers to allow them to engage with their users um, and, the, and the quid pro quo is we're able to use the data anonymously and in a privacy compliant way in order to build these models. Google's a very challenging environment to work in. It's um, a lot of people with a lot of intelligence, a lot of skills, um, and it's definitely um, toughens you up in terms of, I think, uh, dealing in companies of your own size. So always hire the best people. I mean, Google, that's the lesson that Google teaches you is you should not compromise on the people you hire. Uh, you should always set high bars. The Google bar is always the thing that people were talking about. And you did not lower the bar just because you had a need to fill positions. You know, for me, once I start working with a team, what's really important for me uh, is to empower the people who report to me to make decisions um, to make mistakes, to be able to have their own, um, you know, entrepreneurial ability to move forward. Uh, inevitably, when you make a decision, when you look back on it, your biggest regret is you didn't do it quicker. But always make the difficult moves as early as you can. You'll ne you really will never forget it. I worked for uh, years with a guy named Tim Armstrong, who now runs Oath, which is the combination of AOL and Verizon. Uh, and Tim really, really taught me how important it is to know your customers, how important it is to be prepared when you meet with your customers. All, you know, his advice is always, always dress one level more formal than your customers expect you to because they will appreciate the fact that you are there, um, you know, respecting their position um, in, in, your, in your business and the value of it. So that was uh, one, uh, one thing I take. I've also recently read a book um, called Radical Candor, which was written, written by a woman named Kim Scott, who I worked with at Google. And really the premise of the book is you owe your employees the tough, difficult conversations, that you really need to be upfront and you really need to be honest with them and they will really appreciate you for doing it. Uh, having that radical candor dialogue is really something that managers and people who report to them want. It's just really difficult to do. Um, so it's a great book. Um, it's easy to read. It has a lot of real insights, a lot of juicy stories from Google days and everything. So those are two, Kim and uh, Tim are two names I'll, I'll mention. Yeah, I will definitely check it out. Yeah, it's a good book. Yes. It's definitely a good book. Kurt, thank you so much for being of with course. us today. I appreciate it so much that you actually took the time off uh, to spend. And thank you for watching the show. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.